with that down, let's move on now to our final main topic of the day. And our final main topic today is submitted to us by Brandon uh, Pinchbeck, who writes, Hey, John and crew. Of all the good stuff we've had from Comic-Con last weekend, my favorite would have to be the Witcher trailer. What are your thoughts on the trailer? Stay classy. All right, Rob, listen. We've been talking for a while about The Witcher, both, of course, the big news drop that Henry Cavill was going to be playing it, the Netflix series. Of course, it's a celebrated, not just video game series, which is what most people know it as, but it's also a book series, all that kind of stuff. And now the first trailer has dropped, and we didn't have a chance to talk about it yesterday because there was like a million other things to talk about. But, Rob, you had a chance to watch this first trailer for The Witcher. Do you think it lives up to the potential and the heights that a lot of us are hoping this thing can be? In a word, yes. I mean, it's lavishly produced. I was talking to Aaron that I mean, Henry Cavill looks more jacked than he was in Superman. I love Henry uh, Cavill. I, I mean, talk about somebody who looks like he can wield a sword. <laughs> uh, it looks amazing. The characters look amazing. I like the... Uh, I, I don't know exactly the plot, how it all unfurls. The only criticism I have of this, and based on the trailer, is that medieval fantasy projects... Are, are we reaching peak medieval fantasy? Is it time to sort of retire that? Are people after Game of Thrones has gone away and we've still got everything from, well, the Shannara Chronicles, which are gone now, right? But yeah, we've done. got everything else. It, 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 I, I'm getting a little, I want to go into the future more. The Middle Ages look dirty to me. <laughs> I, I, I just, <laughs> does anybody ever take showers and baths? No. and? You know, I, 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 it's just at the end of the day, I like really clean, technologically advanced places to live. I, I think that's the T-shirt of the day. <laughs> that looks dirty to me. <laughs> but it look, 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 it looks cool. It looks beautifully produced. I'm totally in. I will. I, I'm, I mean, it's The Witcher. It's Henry Cavill. Why not? But man, I just don't want to live there. <laughs> Aaron, you had a chance to watch this trailer. What do you think? First of all, Henry Cavill, the addition this. Do you think this looks appealing to an audience member? Um, yes. But, uh, first of all, I, I can't stop. I'm totally with Rob on the dirtiness of it all. When we were watching Game of Thrones, Tom would always be like, oh my God, wouldn't you love to live in this time? And I, have you seen the women? On No, I would not want to. Anyway, um, I'm in, I'm intrigued by it. I yes, Henry Cavill looks like he ate himself and all of him his former self went into his biceps. <laughs> he is massive. He clearly did a lot of work. Uh given that this does have the video game franchise um behind it, I think that the fight scenes are going to there's an expectation of the fight scenes to be at a really peak level and I think that they will probably live up to that. I'm sure they put a lot behind it. It looks incredibly expensive, so clearly they've put a lot of money into this. And um, my only concern would be is it coming so soon on the heels of Game of Thrones that people are going to compare it to Game of Thrones in such a way that it won't be able to live up. Uh, but I'm intrigued. I'm very interested. The one thing I think it's got going for it is that, yeah, on, on a still image, it looks very similar to Game of Thrones. I, I think The Witcher's a lot more fantasy than yes. even a Game of Thrones was. Hey, the, uh, John, White Walkers, Dragons, I know, but I think The Witcher is even more of a fantasy Oh, you genre. mean the spider that crawled out of the lake? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Rob, I go, what? what is, what, if, if this is I a trend. I forgot about that for you. Maybe. If this is a trend <laughs> happening in film and television, I might just have to go live in a yurt because I, I, I can't handle that. But otherwise, yes, I, yeah, I agree with you. A lot more fantasy. But I do think that given the dirtiness of it all, there's going to be a natural inclination for people to compare it just by the oh, no, you know, in, will. initially and then it'll find its own footing hopefully if it's given the chance my I, i'm going to admit <laughs> i'm gonna go live in a yurt <laughs> yurt there's two t-shirts for today I, I admit i was a bit underwhelmed by it now people think underwhelmed instantly means negative and that's not true i thought it was a solid trailer i thought it was good i i guess to an unfair degree I was expecting to have my socks blown off. And that's not fair. I mean, having the skyest of sky high expectations isn't realistic and it isn't fair because it's probably a very, very solid trailer. And I just let my expectations get in the way of it. It looked a little bit more smaller scale. You know what I mean? It, it felt a little bit like a TBS show mm. um, as opposed to a more, again, me 
my problem because I'm thinking so high expectations, something on a Lord of the Rings scale, you know, almost like a, a battle at wherever, whether it's Helm's Deep or the thing is, it felt a little bit smaller, a little bit more intimate than I was expecting. And I think maybe if I give my child, myself a chance to, okay, readjust my expectations a bit and look at it for what it is, I'll probably enjoy it a little bit more. But my initial reaction was just a little bit more tempered. But still, Henry Cavill, the source material, I'm excited about this. High fantasy on Netflix. I'm excited as long as they don't get sued out of existence between now and then. Um, I, I, I'm very excited about the project, but I just got to admit, the trailer itself didn't do much to increase my excitement. But I'm already pretty excited, so we'll see how it goes. Question is, what did you guys think about that trailer for The Witcher? Did it meet your expectations? Did it exceed your expectations? Were you like me and your response was a little bit more tempered? Jump down in the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.